T-80 BVM. Main Battle Tank. Russia. The T-80 BVM is an upgraded version of the T-80 BV main battle tank. It was first publicly revealed in 2017. Currently Russia operates a total of 4,500 T-80 main battle tanks of all variants. Due to high operational costs these tanks are being kept in reserve. Currently the main operational tanks of the Russian army are the T-90 and overhauled or upgraded versions of the T-72. The main reason is that these tanks with conventional diesel engines are less expensive to operate and to maintain than the T-80s. Earlier it was planned that all Russian T-80 series tanks will be retired by 2015. However in 2017 Russian MOD signed a contract to refurbish and upgrade a total of 62 T-80 BV tanks to the T-80 BVM standard in order to keep them in operational service. In 2018 a first batch of 31 T-80 BV tanks was upgraded to the T-80 BVM standard. These operational tanks were first publicly revealed during a military parade in 2018. However these initial tanks lack some features of the T-80 BVM demonstrator that was revealed in 2017. Upgrade of the T-80 BV tanks to the T-80 BVM standard continued in 2019 when another 31 tanks were delivered. In 2020 a contract was signed to upgrade another 50 plus T-80 BV tanks to the new T-80 BVM standard. In 2022 these tanks were used during the Russian invasion to Ukraine. By April 2023 documented losses in Ukraine included at least 77 Russian T-80 BVM tanks. The upgraded T-80 BVM has slightly improved armor protection. It is fitted with Relict Explosive Reactive Armor Kit. The same armor is used by the latest Russian main battle tanks, such as T-90M and T-90MS. However the T-80 BVM was the first operational tank to be fitted with this new explosive reactive armor. The Relict provides protection against tandem warheads and reduces penetration of APFSDS rounds by over 50%. The tank is fitted with rubber side skirts, with built-in armor plates. Rear parts of the hull and turret are covered by cage armor. The T-80 BVM is reportedly fitted with a passive countermeasure system, which improved protection against some types of anti-tank guided missiles. The T-80 BVM retains a 125mm smoothbore gun. However it uses a newly built 2A46M4 gun, which has longer range and is 15-20% to more accurate than the 2A46M1 gun of the T-80 BV the effective range of fire with APFSDS round is 2000 to 3000 meters day and 2000 to 2600 meters at night. Armor penetration is around 590 to 630 millimeters at 2000 meters range. The T-80 BVM is compatible with newly developed Svinets-1 and Svinets-2 APFSDS rounds with tungsten and depleted uranium penetrators. The tank can also launch 9M119M Reflex, Western reporting name at 11 or Sniper B, anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary munitions. These missiles extend the effective range of the 125mm gun, which lacks accuracy at longer ranges. These missile have a range of 4 to 5 kilometers and can also engage low-flying helicopters. Missiles use a semi-automatic laser guidance and have a claimed hit probability of 80% at 4,000 meters range and 70% at 5,000 meters range. Maximum rate of fire is 6 to 8 rounds per minute. However judging by recent tank biathlons in Russia it turned out that these guided missiles have a hit probability against stationary targets of only around 50%. These missiles will be even less accurate against moving targets. The T-80 BVM carries 45 rounds in missiles for the main gun. The gun is loaded automatically by the autoloader. If the autoloader fails, the gun can be loaded manually. Secondary armament consists of a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and roof-mounted 12.7mm machine gun. Fire control system has also been upgraded. The T-80 BVM has a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. The T-80 BVM retains its GTD 1250TF gas turbine engine, developing 1,250 horsepower. Basically it is a helicopter power plant, modified for use on tanks. Advantages of such engine are its compact dimensions, high power output and ability to start when the temperature is as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. 
Due to this feature the T-80 series tanks can be used in northern areas of Russia. Also the T-80 series tanks are much faster than the T-64, T-72 and T-90 series tanks with diesel engines and have superior cross-country performance. However its gas turbine engine has a number of drawbacks. Most notable is a high fuel consumption. It can consume up to 750 liters of fuel for 100 kilometers driven. Other drawbacks are troublesome maintenance and high unit price. The T-80 BVM is also fitted with auxiliary power unit, powering all systems, when the main engine is turned off.